We now have our third matchup of the Ultimate Absolute NYC. We have Jerry Rinaldi from Team Henzo Gracie taking on JJ Holmes of Alliance Texas. Rinaldi recently became noticed, took a lot of notice at the ADCC in 2009, as well as a champion in many local competitions from NAGA, the Grappler's Quest, ADCC trials, taking on JJ Holmes, who uh, medaled at the World Championships, I believe, and also an ADCC West Coast Trials champion this year. So this is a battle of wrestlers who do jujitsu. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Referee brings both contestants back to the center of the mats. We're here at the Ultimate Absolute NYC in Manhattan, New York City. First ever tournament of its kind, 16 men vying for the $10,000 prize, $1,000 submission bonuses, the cash and prestige of being awarded one of the top grapplers in the world. Here we have J.J. Holmes wearing the, uh, the white headband around his head. Looks like he's uh, securing up an injury there against Jerry Rinaldi from New York's Team Henzo Gracie. Both men exceptional wrestlers with jiu-jitsu backgrounds. That's why it's a bit of a stalemate here. They both know what each other's going to do. Both men looking at each other, sizing each other up, trying to pick up the best options to shoot, take each other down. This is the third match of the bracket A of the Ultimate Absolute NYC. JJ Holmes on the left, Jerry Rinaldi on the right. JJ going to two on one. Jerry Rinaldi shooting for a double leg takedown. Scores the two points on JJ Holmes to open it up. Beautiful job by Jerry Rinaldi. Jerry Rinaldi taking notice, getting noticed once again. The battle of ADCC trial winners here. JJ Holmes on the bottom now. Let's see if uh, what his jujitsu game is like coming out of Alliance. Texas, I believe. Jerry Rinaldi on top. These men will be battling. 10 minute round. In the event that no points are scored or there's a tie, they'll go to a five minute overtime. If there's no points there, there'll be a five minute sudden death. Both may get back to their feet now. Jerry Rinaldi has to really recoup and figure out what he's going to do to get back in the game. Two exceptional wrestlers here, so might not be a submission he's looking for. Let's see here. Jerry constantly checking his distance. Raising his hand up, checking to see the distance between him and his opponent. J.J. Holmes, an exceptional wrestler. World Jiu-Jitsu, you know, championship. He medaled there. He did an amazing job at the ADCC trials. But he doesn't seem to have any offense, very effective offense against Jerry Rinaldi. Jerry Rinaldi doing an amazing job of scrambling and countering every attack that J.J. is throwing at him. Once again, the rules of this tournament, submissions, all uh, points scored in the traditional Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu format. Although some modifications to the rules have been made, there will be heel hooks allowed in this as well as slamming to escape submissions. The only big difference, there will be no advantages or negative points. Oh, sorry, there will be negative points in the event that people flee the mat area. We're here in New York City at the Philadelphia Hotel. Jerry Rinaldi just taking it to J.J. Holmes here. we got the battle of Team Henzo Gracie and Alliance, Texas. They're both in a 50-50 upper body position here. J.J. attacks with the, constantly attacking with single and double leg variations. But Jerry Rinaldi doing an excellent job of shucking him off. I believe the score is now 2-0 for Jerry Rinaldi. 
J.J. Holmes, the clock is ticking. He's got to do something, score the points, lock it up, tie it up, or look to get a submission. Once again, this is the Ultimate Absolute NYC, sponsored by Cerberus. Cerberus NYC, premier sponsor of this event who's making this possible. Hopefully we'll see uh, more competitions like this in the future where grapplers will be treated as professional athletes and professional fighters and awarded cash prizes as they train just as hard as a lot of these mixed martial artists, if not harder, some of them. But unfortunately in our sport, not too much cash out there. So it's great to see competitions like this with high-level grapplers, high-level competitors. And we hope to see more in the future. Once again, we got Jerry... J.J. Holmes from Alliance, Texas, battling with Jerry Rinaldi. Team Henzo Gracie scores 2-0 for Jerry Rinaldi. J.J.'s got to do something. Jerry shooting a single leg, lifting the leg up high on J.J. Holmes. J.J. balancing, doing an excellent job. Counterbalancing by holding his hand on Jerry's opposite leg, but Jerry just too much in getting the extra points here. I believe the score is 4-0 now for Jerry Rinaldi. That's two takedowns up. JJ Holmes now on the bottom. Really got to do something here. He's got to look for some submissions. Or he's got to get back to his feet and score two takedowns or a takedown and a pass to take the win. Just don't know if there's enough time left in this matchup. JJ back to his feet. Jerry tying him up again. Clock is ticking. JJ shoots for a single. Jerry defending very, very well, keeping a tight head and arm up top. Defending, constantly defending. Jerry doing an excellent job in this. Very, very cautious, but attacking when the time is right. Frustrating JJ Holmes here on the bottom. Amazing matchup. Two really, really gifted wrestlers who made the transition into submission grappling and jiu-jitsu, putting it on the line here, trying to get that spot to win the $10,000. Doesn't look like they're so crazy about the submission bonus, but uh, two very, very tough competitors nonetheless. Looks like Jerry Rinaldi's the hometown boy here out of fighting out of Team Henzo Gracie. We're in New York City. Henzo being one of the first Instructors to lay his roots here in the city. Clock is ticking. Every single attack JJ's been throwing, Jerry just hit countering effortlessly doing a great job great job by the referee positioning both fighters inside the, the mat area two wrestlers you never know how how fast they're going to be flying out of the mat out of the ring jerry kind of shooting in there with a very unorthodox technique there JJ looks to be a little frustrated now. But don't count him out. Once again, JJ shooting. Jerry now attacking a guillotine. Very, very tight. JJ with the counter. Beautiful. Beautiful defense by JJ Holmes. Oh, trying a. It looks like every time JJ's trying a, an attack or a throw or a takedown, Jerry knows what's going on and too big, too strong, and apparently too technical, and just countering all of these attacks. Excellent job by both athletes. Clock is ticking, match is almost over. Jerry Rinaldi on top. JJ Holmes got to get out of that head and arm. Here we 
go. Jerry repositions his grips. Attacking with a front headlock. JJ sliding out. Jerry now spinning to his back. Trying to get an over-under. Control the back position. If he puts in the hooks, he gets four points. Beautiful scramble here. Jerry Rinaldi gets the submission. $1,000 and the win. Jerry Rinaldi.